Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I want to first apologize. I'm already a day late. Um, it's been a rough week. And the last couple days I've been putting up Halloween decorations. And it's... I did a lot more than I should have done. Um, two days ago, I was, I overdid it, and I was, I had thrown up, and then yesterday, my brother and nephew and niece came by, and they ended up helping us a lot, and I am so thankful for the help that they offered and gave. I seriously couldn't do all of this without them, and they know how much it means to me, so I just really do appreciate that. But it also me it meant that I did a lot more two days in a row than I should have done. I ended up crashing right after dinner last night, so I just did not get to making this video and being able to put it out. So I'm also sorry I'm not all done up. I just am really wiped out today. Um, but I told myself that I'm going to be honest and I want to show, you know, the good days and the bad, so I am going to still stick to my schedule. I know I'm a day late, but, you know, it happens and, you know, this is what I have to deal with, but, um. Halloween is not anywhere near done yet either. I've got still so much to do, but again, they were such a big help yesterday doing things that I just can't do and handle. So, I will do a walking tour fairly soon to show it all off, but um, today was a rest day. I've been just fiddling with a few things around the house. And I wanted to go ahead and get this taken care of real quick, so. Today I wanted to basically talk about our, what we just went through at AT&T. It was a miserable experience. <laughs> we can't believe we're both not gray. <laughs> I was ready to snap. <laughs> so, it all started with, we get terrible reception, my mother and I, at our house here in Sarasota. We get horrible reception. I don't know if it's because we're near the airport or what, but with AT&T, we had terrible reception, and it just got to a point where we were dropping and missing calls far too often at her work. It's just not acceptable. So, we made the decision to go over to Verizon, and while we were there, we... They, you know, they told us what we needed to do as far as allowing us to keep the phones that we have, and transferring them over. Well, you have to pay off your old phones. So mom got on the phone and called AT&T, spent almost an hour on the phone with them that, at that time. We were at Verizon for three hours. They, we paid it off, they locked the phones immediately. So, Everything was done for Verizon, and we were leaving with two locked phones. And we were told that we have to go wait 24 hours, and then we send in for a um, lock request, unlock request. And so the next day, I get up and I'm get on the computer. I go to where I was told to go. Mind you, they lied to us and said we had to wait the, tw the 24 hours, and we didn't. Um, as soon as I sent 
them. I sent hers first, mine second. I We got an email back immediately to unlock my phone, but not hers. So, this was a nightmare. <laughs> and that was just the beginning. <laughs> we spent so much time on the phone, on web chat, and they all just kept telling us that it is a computer program, that there is no way to override it, there is nothing they can do, it's in progress, we have to wait the 48 business hours, and I mean, we're just, again, at our wit's end. So, we started this process on a Thursday. Saturday, we go into AT&T. Again, same thing. Can't help you, there's nothing they can do. There's, it's a computer process. Mind you, the guy at the store didn't have a clue. He's talking to the person on the phone and again, just people giving us the runaround constantly. It felt like they were literally like, you, you're not with us anymore. We don't give a shit. Haha. -ha. That's what it felt like. Because they were so condescending and just rude. So after we leave the store, I made a call to Verizon and I just mentioned that we're still waiting for this unlock code and kind of started to give her the story and she's like, we're going to get this taken care of. She was so amazing. She stayed on the phone. She called AT&T, stayed on the phone the whole time got us to speak to a, uh, someone who was able to give us the unlock code for the phone over the phone which goes to show you that they could have done this the whole entire time why did they wait so long yeah exactly it's just it's just a problem and it was such a horrible experience. We turned around and got rid of our direct TV as well because it, they AT and T now owns them. We will never give them another dime. It is absurd what they think they can do. They had our money in out of our account. They block our phones. That's theft. You're stealing at this point right now. You're holding our phones hostage. So, again, thankful for the Verizon lady. That was so helpful. Um, I was like, if you were nearby, I would come and give you a kiss. <laughs> She's like, I accept air kisses. I said, done. <laughs> Sent. But, Oh my God, just a horrible experience. And I ended the weekend with the worst crick in my neck. Could not turn at all. And it's still tight. Like if I turn too fast, it still hurts. It's, uh, it's been a bad one. So that was just the worst and most stressful experience. And in my experience, I would love for you to know what to do in this situation if you need to and I would switch from AT&T to anybody else go in pay off your phones have them unlocked prior to canceling your service that way they can't hold them against you when you decide to leave like they did to us so make sure you understand if, you know all, all of the things that you need to do prior to leaving their service get all of the little checks in a row because 
they will do this to anyone. I can tell you that now. I have spoken to quite a few people and this is pretty much the consensus. So, yeah, such a nightmare and I'm so glad it's over. And again, very thankful for the lady at Verizon who was so very helpful and will never go to AT&T for anything ever again. That's for sure. So, please feel free to comment below and tell us your stories if you have nightmare stories about AT&T and things that they've done to you. And yeah, keep this topic going if you feel like it. I'd love to hear about it and talk to more of you guys. So, again, thanks for coming. I'm sorry I didn't do my normal something, but it's been a rough day and I'm really hurting a lot and I just needed a bit of a break, so, but I still wanted to touch base and talk to y'all and tell you our story, so, again, I want, you th want to thank you all for coming, I appreciate each and every one of you and I love you all, please like, subscribe, and feel free to comment below, love you.